So now we're just going to practice with these deployment options just to see where they are. So let's take our prod environment in Elastic Beanstalk and our health is okay. And now we go to the configuration on the left hand side and it's loading the configuration setting. So if you look at here, you get rolling updates and deployments. And this is all that we've seen in the theory lecture. So let's click on modify. And so as you can see by default, the deployment policy is all at once. All at once, remember, is when all the instances get stopped, the application on the instances get stopped, and then the new version is added. But you can choose any of these four that we've seen. So rolling, rolling with additional batch, immutable, etc., etc. So let's click on rolling. And so rolling, we can set a batch size. So we can say a percentage of the fleet gets updated or a fixed number of instances. So for example, if we say 30 right here, that means that 70% um, of the fleet will always be up. And if we say fixed, then we say, okay, only one instance at a time can be taken down. Now, if we do rolling with additional batch, we have the same option, so percentage or fixed. And, but this time we're creating new EC2 instances so we make sure that the whole application is running at capacity. And so the bigger the batch size, the more cost we'll have, obviously. And immutable. So immutable, we can't choose everything here, anything, because there is no parameters. In immutable mode, we basically get a new autoscaling group being created, and it will switch over to the new autoscaling group when everything is working. As you can see as well, there's configuration updates that can happen. And so you can define how uh, the rolling update happens. So we can say based on health, time immutable. This is not really asked at the exam, so I won't linger over this, but you know it exists. And then when you have a deployment, you can ignore the health checks. And honestly, I wouldn't ignore the health checks. They're very important. And then you can say, what's the healthy threshold and how long should you time out before you think that a deployment has failed? But what's really, really important for the exam is knowing what all these things do. So for example, I'll choose immutable right here and apply this as my deployment policy and I'll click on apply. And here we go, my configuration has been changed. And so when we change the configuration in Elastic Beanstalk, uh, we get a little update of the environment and we can look at the events to see what happens. So now things have updated and if I go to my URL, I'll just close the other ones for now. If I go to my URL, I can see that yes, it's green still. So let's go ahead and try to update this application now. So the first type Elastic Beanstalk sample app and on Google, you should get the first link. And basically, I'm just going to use this sample app. So if you scroll all the way down, we can see right here that there is a Node.js v1. So that's what I'll be using. So you can download this Node.js v1 file and then open it up. So in there, we can see a couple files that are very specific to Node.js. There's a packet.json, which just tells how to start the application. There is a index.html, which contains, well, the HTML files that we've been seeing in the web browser cron.yaml just for scheduling task, the app.js, which is the JavaScript code to launch this application. You don't need to really know anything about it. And there's this EB extensions file. We'll see what that is in the next lecture. So first, what I want to do is basically modify the color of my applications. And in index.html file, I will scroll down and I will find that green color, uh, which is right here, background color. So we have dot text column, background color. And I'll just change the whole thing to say, blue, right? And I'll save it. So this is basically how you update the index.html file. Then you have to zip this entire thing up. So I went ahead and I'll provide this, the zip file for you in the code directory that you downloaded in the beginning of the course. So with, with the updated color blue, because sometimes it's a bit complicated to zip these files and under Mac, there's a few errors. Anyway, so we'll use that updated file and upload our application so that the text background color will become blue. So now we can go ahead and upload and deploy. I will choose the file that I prepackaged for you called Node.js v2 blue.zip and you can just use that instead of rezipping the file. And so you can see in the deployment preference, we can uh, change the deployment policy if we wanted to. So we have immutable, healthy threshold, ignore uh, health check false, and a bunch of uh, settings if you wanted to. It says that the current number of instances is one. So that means that we'll create a new ASG with only one instance in it. And then we go ahead and click on deploy. And this goes and puts the health application as gray. Gray is basically when things uh, are running um, like in an undetermined uh, state. And so immutable deployment policy enabled. And so it's launching one instance with the new settings to verify the health. So now we just have to wait a little bit for the deployment to happen. So here we can see that there is a created temporary auto scaling group right here. And 
the instances are being added to the environment. So if we go, for example, to uh, the health of here, we can see different instances being created. One has been up for one hour. That's the one we've been created before. And this one has been up for one minute. So this is basically the new one that gets created because we're in an immutable type of deployment. So new instances will be created. But what you realize is that all the events that, happen, that are happening really are uh, explained right here in the recent events. So you can debug if anything goes wrong. But you can see the new instance gets added to the load balancer now. And now it's just waiting for the instance to pass the health check. So basically for the application to get deployed. So we'll just wait a little bit. So we can see now that after the instances have passed the health check, the new instances were detached from the temporary autoscaling group and reattached to the permanent autoscaling group from before. So basically this is what Elastic Beanstalk does when there's an immutable deployment. It just moves instances around for it to work really, really well. But the idea that we get out of this is that Elastic Beanstalk handles all the complexity for us. And so already, if I open this URL right here, I should see Yes, I should see blue background. So as you can see, my app was updated and now we have this really ugly blue background in the meantime. And so, yeah, the idea is that we've just updated our application using an Im immutable deployment strategy in Elastic Beanstalk and that's really, really nice. And so this will take a little bit of time to finish. Uh, you can see this is quite a long deployment. It's been going on for maybe um, five minutes now. But yeah, the idea is that we are able to control how the deployment happens and they're just click and say, okay, and you're done. So that's it. This is really great. I hope you enjoyed this lecture and I will see you in the next lecture.